Women get vulnerable after sex. Ladies, you do. Like most women, you have this weird move you do right after sex where you get like big eyes, get real close to our face like this, like. Hi. Isn't that weird, dude? Salutations. Right, you're about to go to sleep. She's like, you're just inside my body. There's this one scene where I was supposed to look shocked, and it was fourth grade acting. So shocked to me was like, did that, did that, did that, and the powder like flew out of my hair. I got this massive laugh. I just knew then that I that I, I just liked the attention. You don't say it, but it's implied, right? This is not like waka waka. This is real. That's, that's awesome. a really that's awesome sudden, sort of cuddly. It's sort of cuddly for sex, drugs, and rock and roll. <laughs> then I stabbed a prostitute. If you're watching porn, though, ladies, you're, you're like you're watching black porn, right? You're not watching Jewish porn. <laughs> I'm sure there are Jewish porn stars out there, but they changed their names. They're embarrassed about it. They're in the closet. No one here has ever heard of a Jewish porn star with a Jewish porn star last name, right? No one here has ever heard of, like, a Lexington Abramowitz <laughs> or Dirk Diggelstein <laughs> or Long Schlong Flyshacker. <laughs> they don't exist. I Googled them. There's no Demi Does Rosenfeld. <laughs> Not on Netflix picks. <laughs> I want that in your trailer. This is going nowhere. <laughs> Let me be the first to tell you, right? Nowhere! <laughs> first of all, you picked me. That was your first mistake. <laughs> oh, yeah, this used to be show world. Hey, dude, there's a shower. Those pipes are probably, like, clogged with aborted babies. Stem cell research could be funded from that drink. Hey, you know, if you're gonna make an anti-marijuana commercial, make it fucking real. Like, make it something that people would believe in. Here's my anti-pot commercial. <laughs> It'd be like some middle-aged loser with a mullet. <laughs> He's like living in a double-wide trailer on cinder blocks. He's wearing like half a postal outfit and a pair of Pete Stain Haynes boxer shorts <laughs> with like shit-crusted skin marks on the back. Oh wait, there's more. He's sitting in like a cigarette burn futon, trying to watch a baseball game in a 1979 black and white scene of television sets. <laughs> with an antenna made out of a rusty hanger and aluminum foil. And then he has his five kids that are trying to get his attention. Daddy, over here, daddy, daddy. His fat, poked face wife is in the kitchen, hunched over a con echo, rocking back and forth like a retard in the rain. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna pay it? What are, daddy, daddy, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna pay it? <laughs> and right in the foreground, like right here, Right next to like a, a giant fly ridden pot of macaroni and cheese and ketchup. <laughs> With potato chips sprinkled on top of the fire. <laughs> it's like a six foot graphics bomb, right? Daddy! Daddy! What are we gonna do? How are we gonna pay it? Daddy! Daddy! What are we gonna do? How are we gonna pay it? Daddy! Daddy! What are we gonna do? How are we gonna pay it? <laughs> 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 Marijuana, keep smoking, fat boy. <laughs> you could always tell the difference between an LA comic and a New York comic. Because with an LA comic, they'll be like, so, women, blah, blah, you know, it's horrible that way, and then you just hear applause breaks. You just hear these applause breaks, and there's no laughter. You know what I mean? New York, you're, you're training in the fucking trenches, so you need to be funny. Bam, 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 bam. And in LA comics, a lot of times you'll have social statements. They'll say, you know, you know, like, you know, well, I, I can't, I can't think of an example of that, but you know, like, racism's bad, yeah! You know, it's like, all right, you know, like, what the fuck are you saying? I like New York, I like being able to, I like to perform a lot. One of these, one of the, one of the bits I did tonight was generated from a lady here. I was like, look at this guy in a wife beater, and she's like, I find that offensive, I call it a guinea tea. Like, <laughs> guinea tea? I think we're better off calling it a wife beater. That's Italian enough. Uh oh. Uh oh, I better join the fucking joke protection program. <laughs> Growing up God, he's gonna get me. I, I know a lot of people that are bi coastal. They go out there when they get opportunity. Like, you get a national, you get a big commercial, you get a sitcom, you go out there. But if not, they'd rather be here. I mean, that's where the heart is, I think. That's where it started. The best people to smoke pot with, the best experience you'll have is if you smoke with a prostiferian. Anyone ever do that shit, man? Yeah. That's the best shit, right? And they do this shit all the time. They always do this. They're like, Pazzi they were so fucking happy. They were so fucking high. Like a boy. Yeah, that too, right? They might as well just be saying positive, because it's fucking bullshit. 
They, you can't be that happy all the time. And here's the weird thing about Rasta guys is they sort of invert it, and they have really, you know what I'm talking, they have sadistic senses of humor. They like to fuck with you, okay? This is a true story, all right? I'm gonna train four o'clock in the morning, all right? It's like me and this Rasta dude. I don't know, right? And he's smiling at me, he's doing this shit, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> he's not saying anything, but his head is covered in fuzzy D. <laughs> I'm, I'm New York, all right? So when someone smiles at me, it means one of two things. Either they're gay, or they're gonna fucking kill me. You know, but I snap into action and I start to read a book, right? Because that's what white people do when we get nervous around black people. It's true, we pretend to read. Like, a Starbucks with mice and men is great. Is he fucking looking? I'm reading the heart, bitch! Right? That's where the story's normal. This is where it gets weird. I swear to God, I'm not making this up. This guy starts composing a song about what's going on. So me and him on the train start singing. He's like, hey, 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 there's a man on the train and he's reading to ignore me. She's gonna keep me warm tonight. All right, that's not that bad. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I got to black that myself because I just want a knife fight. I'm like, what? He's like, bum, bum, bum. Black clan. I'm like, ah! He's like, ah, 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 ah. Buzzy thing! I was about four years into comedy. And uh, I saw, it was like a prior tape in New Orleans. And it just hit me, like, I'm just watching him. He's just telling the truth. Like, it just hit me. There's no frills to it. I just got, like, depressed, and I couldn't do comedy. For, like, two months, I couldn't do comedy. I was like, what I'm doing is fucking bullshit. What he's doing is so simple, but it's so rich. And that, that, I think that was, like, a big turning point for me, as far as just being honest.